so this is the second part of the video um, if we have misunderstandings with our partners it's important that we know how to settle things down okay uh, in a relationship two people shouldn't be on fire at the same time okay there are a lot of things that can happen that can make one of the partners to become more stressed out you know maybe something happened at work or something like that didn't go so well in that day okay but um, we need to have self-control as well not to explode with our partners and make them pay for that but also if that does happen the other partner supposed to automatically if if he sees the other one is on fire then they should be they should turn to water immediately okay to calm the other one down instead of making the two of them becoming fire and you know um being disputing who gonna win the argument because that's not how a marriage supposed to be like okay even though a lot of people say that there are problems and arguments in the relationship, okay, which there are, okay, a great relationship shouldn't have any arguments. It's okay to have misunderstandings because we are all different, but arguments, okay, it's due to lack of respect. Sometimes we don't acknowledge these things, but lack of respect is due to lack of respect. And lack of respect is due to lack of love. If you love someone, you're going to be very cautious with what you say that you may not hurt them. Okay? And you're also going to be very um, careful also because having an argument in a relationship with someone you love so much can be very painful and it can be very hurtful too. Okay, and um, you're going to feel like something is missing, something is not right, you know. And um, that's why when you love someone, you're going to try always your best not to argue with them, okay, or to calm things down. Because you're going to miss the good times, you're going to miss feeling right with them, okay. You're not going to like to feel wrong with them, okay. Um... Yeah, in terms of uh, also in godly life, both have to agree on that, okay? It's important too, because um, without God in a relationship, it's really hard to, to live in peace, okay? God is what brings peace, okay? And without having God in our relationships, okay, it's very very easy for the relationship to fall apart okay um due to i believe that problems in a relationship should only come from outside not from within if a relationship is really strong okay and both are really truly bonded and have great intimacy the problems should only come from outside so it'd be external problems not internal not the two of them bickering with each other fighting with each other and argumenting um with each other okay it should be external stuff like maybe physical maybe health problems okay but still both have to still keep giving support to each other okay um problems with other people being against the two of them because where where there is hap happiness always the Satan's eye is going to be on that couple, okay? And he will try many different things to make them to fall apart. But that's when both have to unite together and be against everything that is coming against them also. That's what a true bond is. That's what a true relationship and sacred marriage is all about. It's hard to imagine that because nowadays... People are not even, it's hard to find a good person to marry, okay? It is really difficult, almost impossible. But if we all would serve the Lord, okay, with all our hearts and all our minds and all our souls, okay, and turn to this specific, you know, generous person, caring, loving, we, have, we would have all the qualities, okay, 
and abilities to have a successful marriage. Nothing to destroy on it. Okay? And um, one thing that the Lord said to me in my own case was due to my mistakes that I have done. He said to me, and when he said that, okay, I knew straight away he wasn't just referring to myself, but to everyone in the world. He said, you people don't wait for me anymore. You like doing things your own way. You know, that's why everything is just getting scattered. People are getting married. They're getting um divorce very often okay those that still remain in marriage it's not a happy marriage it's just a marriage of appearances okay but inside home is just hellfire okay if you are in a bad marriage I mean, it can be quite traumatizing okay um at the point that if you come out of it, you some of some people might not even feel like ever be in a relationship again, okay, due to the stresses, the traumas, and the hurts, okay, of it. And there is something that we have to be very careful choosing because some can be potentially dangerous, okay. And if we have children with such people, it's very hard to detach from them. Even if we manage to separate or divorce them, it's still really tough to detach from them, okay? Because we still have that bond as long as the children are alive. But the Lord, in my case, have been very faithful, okay? But uh, I know that I have done a lot of mistakes for lack of knowledge. I wish I knew then the things that I know now, you know, but I tried my best, you know, many different ways. But again, when I would question, you know, religion, they would come with different stuff. But I feel really blessed that the Lord has always been there for me, you know, and guiding me and showing me in everything. Okay, how it was really meant to be and why was he falling apart. Okay. Because a lot of people say that they are from the Lord, but they aren't, okay? The first one didn't wasn't from the Lord at all. But he didn't stop me from learning from God. But the second one said he was from the Lord, but he was living a very ungodly life and mis misleading me a lot, okay? So the two of them were, the Lord told me to leave. I don't know if you people remember the video that I made about Jesus knocking on your door when I referred about uh, a lady coming to me and stopping me um, and speaking to me, which was um, a lady in a human form, but she wasn't human. She wasn't a human being. Okay, sent by the Lord. And she told me, she came to speak to me and it was in relation to my um, emotional life so what she said to me was in in relation to my marriage first marriage she said to me you've done a mistake you shouldn't have married that person he's a very wicked person okay and I was only a couple of months nearly a year married okay and she says to me again but don't worry the Lord will set you free after seven years, he'll set you free. And I was like, what? So he gonna let me live in a bad relationship like for seven years? I was hoping she gonna tell me like one year, you know. But he was my first everything, you know. And I really, I was, I, well, I'm not gonna say I was in love for him. But I was infatuated because I couldn't see the bad side of him. Only the good side, which was all an illusion. Okay. So, but she said that he was very, you know, wicked person, okay? And she told me also that he, that the Lord was going to send me a helper, okay? But she gave me warning not to marry him, okay? Um, Really big warning, do not marry him. He's not the right one yet. And then she told me the right one, the Lord going to leave you. 
at his door. And every single thing that she told me was exactly what happened. Okay, after seven years, that's when I truly got separated from him. Okay, even though we've been on and off, on and off. But definitely after the seven years, that's when me and him got separated. And that's when the time that also the helper popped up. But unfortunately, I ended up marrying him. Okay. Um, to give him help with his, you know, papers. Um, but the Lord asked me and spoke to me a day before I got married with him. And he told me, called me by the name and said, and asked me, what if you meet the right one? When he said that, I was really in my heart. That's why it's made in the video as well. Do never take God's love for granted or see God as a fool. Okay. And I said in my heart, when God says something is coming tomorrow, it might take like three, four years, five years, you know. And he got really mad at me. That was the only thinking. I wasn't saying to him. I was just thinking that in my heart. But obviously he can hear our thoughts. So he said to me, because of that, you're going to remain, you're going to wait for it until the five years finish. So... I've met the right person, okay, a year after I got married, and we're not together, okay, but um, it was a very painful, okay, I begged the Lord no matter all I could, cried, cried, and cried, you know, but um, nothing. Okay, so last year made five years since I met this person. So let's see if the Lord's going to release this person for me or not. Because it's not just about being together or, or happy ever after. Me and him have a purpose together, which the Lord has told me. Okay, so but it's not just depending on me. It's depending on him also and it's depending on the Lord too. So let's see how things are going to go. Okay. I believe that everything will go fine. The Lord said it's going to go fine. Okay. But um, this is just to, to, to exemplify that how the Lord is not accepting every marriage. And he has said to me, I have asked the Lord to change my ex-partner. And he said... In a very angry voice, in very angry money, he said, I will not change my plans because of your mistakes. You people have to change your mistakes because of my plans. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I was like, whoa, that's some kind of stuff that you say that he really triggers him. You know what I mean? Like, the only thing you know he was, left was him saying, you mad or was <laughs> Asking me to change something. You people go change yourselves. Oh my gosh. But yeah, life. That's what I'm saying. I said to you people before. Any child that has wise parents. It's an absolutely blessing. Okay. Because you will have nothing to regret when you look back in your life. You know what I mean? I have a few things to regret. But... They are quite big, you know. I wish I haven't done them at all, but I hope it's not too late. And I know it's not too late, but it's just that kind of feeling, you know. You just wish you haven't done them at all, you know. But I'm glad that I still managed to learn a lot of things and change my life in time, okay. So people pay attention to the marriages that you may not be doing mistakes like how I have done. Okay, but I'm going to be honest to you people, guys, whether the relationship is good or not, remain on it because the time is just closing down, okay, unless it's very violent and misleading relationship, okay, and I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you strong and fortify your, your marriage no matter what, he's capable of doing that if you marry anyone that is not from the light, that the Lord will bring them from the for, to the light 
And I say all these words in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye-bye.